Hi guys, today we are going to work on drawing and painting donuts. That's right, I love donuts. And so there's so many different ways you can do donuts. You could do one donut, you could do a stack of donuts, you could do donuts in a box, it's kind of up to you. So um, I'm going to start with kind of drying out the basic donut and then it's up to you what kind of designs you want to add to it. I just want to point out that as you're painting, this is what I'm working on, um, if you do do the sprinkles, um, then notice that there, I tried to put a little bit of a darker version of the frosting color underneath to make them look a little bit more 3D. I'm not quite done with this one yet. Um, and then you want to make the frosting on the side and in the middle a little bit darker and add some white to the the rim and the top of the donuts to make them look um, more realistic um, just look like that the light is hitting that part of the donut and it's a little bit more shaded on the other side hopefully that makes sense so um, here we go so if you want to join me doing a stack of donuts I would start kind of towards the top of your page with kind of an elliptical shape. Depends how big you want it really. I'm kind of just gonna do this for a little while until I kind of get the shape that I want and then I'll erase the lines I don't want. There we go. It's kind of a squished oval shape that we're gonna have there. And I'll go back and kind of erase the lines I don't want not a perfect science for me but that's how I do it so that's what I'm sharing just a general elliptical squished oval outline as if you were gonna draw like the rings of Saturn or something okay that's the top the sides I would try and make them a little bit arced, just a tiny bit, not like a huge arc, but just a little bit to show that it's rounded and kind of puffy and not square shaped. I would go down a couple inches and then start curving it under. And you want the bottom curve to be parallel to the top curve so that it looks like it curves evenly. You don't want any points on them because donuts are not square, usually. Sometimes they might have square donuts at a specialty shop. But then you're going to do another, I mean if you want a jelly donut, you could put a hole on the side and have the jelly coming out and just do some other pattern or chocolate or frosting on top. But if you want it to have a hole in it, like I do, put a smaller elliptical shape in the middle. And there's your basic donut. Okay, usually I wouldn't leave this whole line, but so I'll erase it or maybe just leave a little bit for reference. But you kind of want to know where the edge is so you know where to put those um, lighter colors and darker colors that I was talking about. I'm going to put my drippy frosting. And then what I'll probably do is go back and just lightly erase, not erase the whole thing. Because I want to know my boundaries when I go back and paint it in a little bit. Now, if you want to do watercolor, you can probably go ahead and start adding the sprinkles. But if you're going to do a thicker acrylic paint, then you may not even be able to see the sprinkles. So you might want to just wait till later and just add them. But if you'd rather draw them out first to kind of see approximately where you want to put them, so they're not looking like they're uneven or something like that, you can see if you can see them underneath your acrylic if it's like a lighter transparent color. I don't 
don't want like a huge amount of them, but I feel like my last one that I did, I didn't have enough, so maybe I'll add some more this time. Now, if you chose to do the hole in the middle, then you probably need to put some drips in the hole to show that it dripped through the middle as well. And those need to be darker, like the sides. Ooh, that sprinkle was way too wide. And you don't have to do this kind of sprinkles either. Whatever sprinkles you enjoy, those are the ones you should do. Maybe we've got a couple rogue sprinkles in the middle. Okay. I think that's a good amount of sprinkles. Now, you could be done there if you want to. Or you could draw a picture of somebody like looking at it, licking their chops. But I am going to go ahead and do some more underneath. As if it's on a stack. A glorious stack of donuts. So I'm going to work on another ellipse here. Elliptical squished oval shape for the top of a second donut. And I started in the middle because I want this one to be sitting square in between two donuts. So I'm going to make my donuts look like they're stacked. Curvy sides, rounded bottom, kind of look like half a toilet paper roll. <laughs> and then I'm going to put one more here, actually probably one more in the middle and then a couple on the sides too. So it's a true pyramid of deliciousness. Actually, this kind of want to make sense because it needs to go under there some more. So maybe these need to overlap a little bit more. Otherwise, it looks kind of like they're not really sitting on each other, but floating in outer space here. Floating donuts, floating donuts. More drips. And try to make them go straight down like drips naturally would go more straight and not sideways like I just did right there so that doesn't look right I did that there too about the middle I think I just get tired <laughs> and my drips lose their shape there we go frosting drips now nowadays they make all kinds of frosting so you can pick whatever color you want and you won't be wrong. I mean, there's so many colors. I'm a huge donut fan. Especially Dunkin' Donuts and Rebel Donuts in Albuquerque. They're so good. And they specialize in themed donuts. Like, for example, on May the 4th. Star Wars Day, they'll have Star Wars themed donuts. And I asked them to make some nurse appreciation donuts for my friend who's a nurse. And I'm sure they have like a Dr. Seuss donut, and holiday donuts, birthday donuts. I mean, they could do whatever. I mean, they're so good. They're donut artists, pastry chefs, or something. So good. So make sure if you live in Albuquerque or you visit, check them out. Rebel Donuts, so good. Anywho, all right. So I got a couple, a stack of a couple donuts here, going. Oops, sorry about. That.
about that. All right, so I want to change it up just like I did on this other sheet back here. Let's look at it for a second. So I, di I did the Jimmy sprinkles at the top. Now I want to do some kind of stripes and some dots. And I saw some recently that I thought were just super pretty. And they were like purple with like rainbow sprinkles just on one side. And so I might try something like that. I'm not sure yet. The odds are good that it'll be fun though. And I will wish that I had a real one in my mouth to eat right now. Regardless. All right. So, I just need to decide. I mean, I like the ones that kind of drip. But I'm not very good at doing the zigzaggy drip, so maybe I'll just stick with straight. lines, you know? Yeah, that's simple. Looks good. Okay. I think I do want to try the ones with the sprinkles just dipped on one side. Yes. Now, I'm not going to draw all of them because that would take forever and I'm just going to paint over it anyway. But just so I remember which one I'm doing, I'll draw quite a few dots. See how far out I want to go. I mean, like a third of the way at least, I think. You know? do another one like that. That's another design that people see on donuts. I mean, you could just have a plain one. Like I could just have a plain chocolate, strawberry, something. What are your favorite kind of donuts? Do you guys have a favorite? I think Boston cream pie is my favorite. I had like those powdered sugar kind with the chocolate cream filling recently from Dunkin Donuts and it was pretty good. Honestly, I'm trying not to eat a lot of donuts to be honest, but um, every time I drive past the Dunkin Donuts, because we don't have a donut place where I live, but when I go to the big city and I see the Dunkin Donuts sign, it calls me. Says you need Dunkin' Donuts. Come get your Dunkin' Donuts and coffee. Sorry, I know this is taking a long time, but I just want to do like half of it. All right. So hypothetically, we would have one with half of it or a third of it covered in sprinkles. I think I would do another one, like just the regular sprinkles. I like the ones that have, um, like different sprinkles, like heart shaped sprinkles on them too. Those are cute. Or star shaped sprinkles. Ooh, that's way too big. Way too big. Where'd it get 
in there. Gotta get to the fun part of coloring them. So, what did I say I was gonna do? I don't remember. So I'm gonna make this another zigzag one so I can kind of spread them out. So well, did it. And last but not least, we're gonna go with this one. No heart sprinkles, cause why not? Okay, there we go. That looks like a delicious detailed stack of sprinkles. So, I gotta pick my colors now. I need some white. Definitely. Ow. Oh. It's not really white, but it's like an off white. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, I'm getting low on my white. Only word. Need to make a trip to my local store to get some more paint. Oh, come on. Nothing left! No! Alright, I'm gonna break out the big guns. Whew. This is more like a guess, though, so it's probably not gonna work too well, but. It's what I've got whoop, for the day, so that's what we're going to use. Resources. Okay. And this donut on the top. It still needs to be pink. So, pink it is. Oh man. Don't give up on me now, pink. I'm losing my, my pink too. Alright, so I'm going to start with this I'm gonna put a smidge of red too because I want to show the light side and the dark side and the highlights so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna start with just the basic pink and if I can't see my sprinkles underneath it's fine Look, I can see them, so that's good. Okay, so I'm doing the top. I'm gonna just get a basic first coat of pink on there, and then we start adding the light and dark spots to it. Is too long. And actually, before I put the white, I'm going to do the drips too. Now, in general, the cakey part of most donuts, unless you want to go chocolate, are going to be kind of that tan color. And let me tell you, a chocolate donut with like strawberry frosting sounds amazing right now. I don't know about you, but for this general donut, I'm going to put that tan cake color, bread color. You know what I'm saying? I'll try and make one like that. And then we'll see. Maybe I'll do one of my other ones, a chocolate donut. 
I was telling my students in class that I was so disappointed because I did get to go to Dunkin' Donuts this last week. Maybe that's why I was inspired to do this with you guys. But, you know, when you go there, you want, like, to get the really awesome, fancy, chocolatey deliciousness. And all they had left when I got there was, like, the coconut kind. And I have nothing against coconut. But, it just, it wasn't chocolate. And so, I was very sad. <laughs> but, anyway. Alright, so I'm taking just a streak of white. And I'm going to do the, like, line the ellipse part of it at the top that you drew first. With that color. Why? Because I want it to look like the light is hitting the top. And not. It's hard to see with that light like that. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. I want it to look like the light is hitting the top of this donut and not the sides of the donut because they're on the side, so it's shaped. And if you had like some really good frosting on there, there probably would be some white streaks in it, just like where it shines and reflects the light, depending on what kind of donut you're doing. So it's okay if there's some actual white streaks in there too. And I'm probably going to do an additional one on this side of the middle ellipse because I want to show the difference between the inside and the edge, you know? Now, if you were going to do this using colored pencils, watercolors, whatever, you may not have a white, and that's okay. Um, you can just like leave a chunk of, just leave a space where you're just going to leave it white instead of painting it white if you don't have white. That wasn't too bad, except I'm this drip is kind of out too far. It doesn't look right. Like, gravity doesn't work that way. So let me fix it. Hopefully that looks a little bit better. Okay. So there's my first donut. See what it looks like with a brighter light. Nah, I'm going to keep it off. You can see the color better this way. Okie dokie. Now, what you might want to do, if you're going to add sprinkles, is go back and see if you can find where you're going to put those sprinkles initially, if you can see it, and then just put a little white spot there so you know and then cover it with the colored sprinkle. So you want to keep them white. Just so the color will show up, say if you did like a yellow one, and if you have a yellow that's like see-through, kind of like my yellows, seem kind of see-through. This way you can see where you need to put the shadows, like a darker pink color. Paint like a pain, but it does help the colors.
enough sprinkles. What do you guys think? I think we need more sprinkles. Alright, that's probably good for now. Okay, so I've gone through, I've done a little white spot where I'm going to do my sprinkles. Um, and now, I'm going to put one more right here because I feel like it's empty. Okay, so now I'm going to take my darker pink, or the regular pink I was using without any white added. And I'm going to go back underneath these sprinkles and act like I'm adding a shadow. Okay. Because I added so much white to the top, it should look like you're adding a little bit of a darker pink to it. I mean, whatever color you're choosing, it doesn't have to be pink. If it's not dark enough, you can add a little bit of red into your pink, or, you know, whatever darker color you need. Like, say you chose blue, you could just add a darker blue. Down here, this is the same color, so it's not doing anything, so I'm just going to add a smidge of a red and mix it. And that way, when I add it, it will show up a little bit better. Ideally. There we go. That one's got a little bit of red in it. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. So anyway, then you go in with your different colors that you want. So I actually probably do want some red sprinkles on mine, so I might start with red since I already have red. So red, and then if it gets too messy, you can go back and fix it with your pink or whatever color you chose. So I think I want to get something brighter in there, like a yellow maybe. Yeah. You get a song stuck in your head that you just cannot get out of your head? I was singing at church a couple hours ago, and anyway, I've got Amazing Grace stuck in my head. I cannot get it out. You 
usually it's a kid song stuck in my head because I have a bunch of younger children at my house, but not right now. <laughs> Okay, another color. What should I do? Boop, boop, boop. I need like a blue or ooh, green. And you don't need a whole lot of paint for these colors, obviously, because it's really a small area you're doing. Still has a lot of wet green on it, or a lot of wet white I meant to say, not green. I have to go over that one again in a little while. I think I need blue next. Can't help it, I'm sorry. It's just stuck in there. Stuck in my brain. That tune. like a dark blue but this baby blue actually might work if I can figure out how to open it. Oh there we go. Oh so we're about to bring blue home today so we're gonna use light blue. It's fine, right? Ooh. Oh yeah. It's kinda like a periwinkle almost. Not a normal sprinkle color. Because at my donut shop, we have all kinds of colors of sprinkles, even periwinkle. <laughs> that one in a second here. Now it's repair time. those look somewhat accurate like sprinkles a little bit of a different view so then the next thing I would do especially if I was just doing a one is I would try and make myself that um, I don't have a whole lot of room here that donut color of for the bread of the donut so for that Honestly, it's going to take some white, some brown, and probably some yellow. Come on, yellow, don't be shy. I need you. Ah! Lovely noises that it makes. So I'm going to mix some yellow, some brown, and some white to get kind of a tan, hopefully. 
see what happens. Oh yeah. I know it looks like bullet, but too much yellow, maybe. I don't know. I feel like it needs some orange to you. I don't know why. Actually, it looks better um, on your screen than it does. Maybe that's too much orange. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I feel a little bit better about it with the orange in there. Maybe even some more orange. I'm not expecting to add orange. I think that brown that I have is has like too much black in it or something because it was making it look dull. Yeah, that's looking better. That looks like a good donut base color. Okay, so I'm going in. My attempt at donut, donut skin is what I was going to say. <laughs> donut dough bread. I don't even know what this is called. This part of the donut. The non-frosted part of the donut. If you got watercolor, you might just do a super light brown like really watered down and then go ahead and add like a little bit of yellow a little bit of maybe orange like I just did with my acrylic and see where you go see where you end up stuck in there. My song. I need a donut song to sing instead of Amazing Grace. Although I love Amazing Grace. I'm not saying that it's a bad song. It's just stuck in my head. And has nothing to do with this video. You know what I mean, Vern? You really could use a smaller brush for this. I'm just being lazy and don't want to switch brushes. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Here's a different view on what this looks like. This donut. So I'm going to pause and go ahead and finish the rest of my donuts here and then I'll be back with you shortly. So I finally finished all the other donuts. Took me a while. I went ahead and did the, the cake part of all the donuts first and then I went back and made them the colors I want and then I went back and did the design was going to do this one all sprinkled uh, dots but like this one which I think turned out pretty neat but um, I've, 
also seen some online where they're half. And so I think that looks kind of cool. So I decided to leave it like that. So anyway, that is that. And there you can tell a little bit better what color I used. Anyway, um, I hope that you enjoy and I can't wait to see it. So please upload it when you're done and uh, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.